Well, we're back again, uh, but this time we're listening to a little bit of Stevie Ray Vaughan. Um, tragic. But anyway, better review. Hey guys, welcome back to Better Reviews with the Beer Sarge. Well, we're about to head down the line now. We're moving out of Waipu and we're heading to Eddie Line Breweries. So Eddie Line Brewery are from, let me just check and make sure I'm fucking right, Stoke in Nelson. What are you doing? Get out of there. It's hard to find good help. Uh, in any anyway, Barry, get out. I think he likes the smell of cooking pork on the barbecue because he's been fucking hanging around like a bad smell. And I can tell you that the fucking pork is not a bad smell. Anyway, back to the brew. Uh, Eddie Lone Brewery. Um, this one here is called Sippin' on Sunshine. And. I'm really getting a little bit fucked off with this tracking bullshit. But there you go, look at that. Eddie Line, Sippin' on Sunshine Hazy Pale Ale. It's a 440ml and it's only 5.5, so it's a 5.5 uh, beer. And it says on the side here, um, triple dry hopped, crisp and citrusy. Um, does it actually tell you what hops are in it but it says beers to celebrate any adventure pretty sure we've done some Eddie Lyon stuff before uh, they seem to be a bit of an adventure sort of based brewery I, I guess you'd say there's a fucking gnome on it there's a sun rising out of a neighbours have got some um, what do you call them husky puppies and they fucking squeal all the time um, but it is good to hear because you know, if it likes a good dog. Anyway, let's give this a shot. Beers to celebrate any adventure. Um, don't know a lot about them. From Stoke, Nelson. Um, yeah, oh well, let's have a crack. It's a, it's a hazy pail, so let's see what it looks like. Got these from Pack and Save, so going into this glass, which is exceptionally clear for, which is something that I fucking am astounded at. A nice colour. It's a it's a peach sort of colour. Bit of a peach juice sort of colour. We'll, we'll stop it there. Beautiful head on it. Look at that. That's fucking lovely. Um, can't see any bits sort of floating around in it. Which is Mm, that's good. It's not even like a nice clear beer, but like I say, bits floating in it means it's flavour. Smell wise. Shit, we're getting a lot of pineapple. A lot of pineapple. Wow, that's got some real some real pineapple smells in there. That's really, really nice. So it's triple hopped, crisp and citrusy. It's like having your own set of fucking police sirens in the next yard. Yeah, oh well, let's see how that goes. Um, right, let's have a taste. Ooh. Ooh. That's quite, that, well, it's not, it's not super bitter, but it's bitter, so it's got a little bit of a bite, which really dives off straight away, so you, as soon as you're drinking it, you're like, yeah, that's quite bitter, and then it's phew, gone. So that's really good. I like, you know, you like a good bit of beer because you know that you're not drinking fruit juice. Um, so a good bitter, fucking um, hit straight away. Then it sort of mellows out, and you get those fruit flavours, and and the fruit flavours are the pineapple, the citrus, um, the grapefruit pith, uh, and it's probably more grapefruit than sort of lemony sort of flavour. Um, yeah, fuck, that is a fucking brand brew. Hey, and you know, the, the cool thing about it is that this was fucking quite cheap. Um, like, at Pack and Save, I think it was around about the seven, seven or eight bucks a can. So, fucking good value for a five and a half. I suppose it's, it's, 
it's sort of down there with the alcohol percentage for the um, for the for the big hazies in the 440s but um, sessionable not saying that the big ones aren't sessionable if you want to drink yourself to a stupor but um, yeah now these are these would be a these would be a summer must do like a classic you could pick these up and sit on them all day uh, if you're a rich bastard but anyway there you go try try and grab one of those if i can get it fucking focusing track 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 there you go eddie line that's what you're looking for eddie line brewery sipping on sunshine pretty much you are you are sipping on sunshine all right there you go there's another beer review from the beer sage we'll catch you later